Glacier National Park is known as the crown of the continent. Some may dispute that claim, but you will hear no arguments from me. It is a pristine wilderness as diverse as any that I have ever seen. Snow melt from the high country collects in U-shaped moraines formed 170 million years ago. There are 130 named lakes, each with its own character and beauty. The lakes then spill over to form rivers that cascade down the mountainsides, carving out valleys as beautiful as any imagining could ever be. And small miracles can be witnessed at any moment, on any given day. It's all there for the taking, and it's out there every day. But sometimes you need to remind yourself to slow down the pace, to take in the scent of the evergreen forest, to sit quiet and listen to the sound of a free-flowing river, to listen to the waves on a shoreline, or maybe just the wind in the trees. If you walk softly, sit still and quiet for long enough, you just may be fortunate to witness animal behavior that most will never see. And there's always something lurking in the bush. So I set out to explore the Missouri Breaks country of eastern Montana and I end up in the Canadian Rockies. That's how it goes on these road trips sometimes. I'm not complaining though. This scenery is pretty easy on the eye. Waterton Glacier National Park in Alberta province is just north of the border and seems to have a uniqueness all of its own. Although much of the terrain appears the same, there's a different feel to the place. And it has its own cast of characters easily seen throughout the park. And the diversity of wildlife is nothing short of amazing. The park itself is small as national parks go, and the traffic congestion can be tough to take. I will take many fond memories from this road trip, and there's much I will miss until the day I return. The alpine peaks where spirits seem to dwell where maybe mine will as well one day. The pristine waters, the sheer wilderness of the Missouri Breaks country, the wide open spaces and the feeling of true freedom, being among wild and free animals in their natural habitat. There's much to be said for that. And truth be known, I prefer their company over some people. I wonder if they will miss seeing me. I guess not.